this year, actually, with my company, I'm not trying to be on stage as much, like doing three ballets. You know, I'm. It's good to delegate and to and allow the others to formulate their art artistry and to challenge them and actually so that I can actually direct <laughs> you know and help Dwight in that aspect as art co-artistic director in terms of helping shape their artistry and I love that part like watching uh, a dancer do something and helping them to uh, figure out another path or figure out another way and there, there's, there's so many options so many possibilities so there, there's something that that I can do and I really enjoy that part. Well, going out and just doing so many different things, the versatility of that, um, it really just builds the character. I've always um, been told to do many things, so I didn't know anything else other than uh, many of my teachers were always like, be versatile, because actually if you work with a choreographer or a director or a producer, they will all know, they'll be able to work with you. you you need to be more malleable, I guess. And uh, I love that fact because I, actually I got into dance because I wanted to do musical theater. I wanted to sing, I wanted to act, I wanted to dance. Boom. And then I got into concert dance and then I really fell in love with that. And I was like, oh my God, I really, then I want to really do it well and, I, you know, and um, express the art of, of dance, of concert dance. And um, moving that to Broadway and everything like that, I mean, it's just, it's been a very interesting and unique journey for me. <laughs> I know for more people it's it's different, but it's been really uh, fascinating. And I just try to keep open and stay current and look at, look around and try to just invest in, in myself and as well in others. Because I feel like if I'm, if I'm investing and I'm open and I'm pushing it out there and making my work accessible, then it's going to inspire someone somewhere because it inspired me someone did it to me like Noriev you know and, and Mel Tomlinson and the Barishnikovs you know those people did it for me so if I can be that sort of person I would I, I, that's the greatest joy I believe <laughs> quote unquote, is not born with the gift, you know, uh, I would say that everybody is actually born with the gift. You have to find your gift, you have to find what it is that you have. Yes, some people are more limber than others. Some people have, um, are able to uh, work from the inside out really quickly. You just have to find your way, your path, because everybody's path is different. And especially in, in dance, actually, that's the beauty of dance, is your individuality and what you bring to it. So I would really advise uh, young dancers to find your, your passion, in number one, and then find your inv individuality. And how can you make that accessible to the audience? Because ultimately, we are the instruments, and uh, we get all this plethora of choreography, and we have to make it speak, and then, we have to make it accessible to the audience because they want to they want to be moved they want to we want to provoke thought we want to entertain <laughs> because it is a visual and visceral art form but all, all ultimately you have to come from the inside out and it has to be really honest one of the things that we tell the dancers always find out actually why you're in the room are you doing it because you want to pick up a check, or are you doing it because you want to be uh, flashy, or or do you have to do it? Do you have to dance? Because that's why we've created Complexions Contemporary Ballet, and and we try to explore so many different avenues because we have to. <laughs> <laughs>